shit. Fuck this shit. Not that, man. My shit was fucking up. I don't know what happened. I couldn't read no comments. Woke up again for this. My life back to normal. Man, my life has never been normal and never will be normal. It's just a bunch of L's and wins. Mostly wins, definitely some L's. But, you know, it is what it is, man. How am I doing? Man, what? Got these elite boots boots on the way. Raph. Everyone needs to go like little homie Anthony's post so that I can post this fucking video next week. Nah, you different. That's why it ain't normal. Why be normal when you can be different? As a fact. But at the same time, I'm not trying to be different. I am me. And I'm gonna see where that goes because doing that has got me this far. Also, how long y'all think I've been working for? Just curiosity. I just wanna take a guess. How long I've been working for? Like since the minute I started doing me. Four years. No. Six. Been working for six years. And three of those years was You feel me? Three years, maybe. Now, I wouldn't say I've been working all my life. Because there was definitely a point in time where I decided to take this shit serious. And make some shit happen. You feel me? So, uh, I've been working for six years. Is when I started my brand. and started taking this art shit seriously. But, uh, for three of those years, I had like 600 followers. <laughs> Feel me? So don't work for three months and be upset if you're not quote unquote where you think you should be at. You know what I'm saying? I think you should just keep doing it until it work out. You feel me? Like I think the dude who invented Velcro was like 70 years old. Like he went 70 years and then made some Velcro and went off, bro. Like. We young, but take advantage of that time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm definitely... Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah, it was worth it. You know, I did miss out on a lot of shit, but it doesn't matter because I can really do some shit. You feel me? What am I doing? I'm chilling with my homie, watching Avatar for the sixth sixth time this month. <laughs> sixth time this month. So, for me, buy drugs. Uh, you know, drugs are cool when you need them, not for fun. You know what I'm saying? What did you shoot with the Casio XLM? The opium ad that I shot was on a Casio XLM. Let's see the fit, if I got one on. I mean, it's some light shit, you feel me? I got the Dickies from Target on. I got this tank. Um, 
Where to tag it? See that? Right there. Rob Simmons is light, not even no flex piece. So. Drop another vintage drop. I don't think I'm gonna do it. Have I seen Cape Fear? I don't know what that is. Drilling and spilling. Life will get better for all of us. Um, the word joy really is a, a powerful word because it's something that, like, being happy all the time isn't a realistic idea, more so than finding joy in little moments of things, you know what I'm saying? So, like, can't say it, my life is always just amazing and happy, but I definitely have experienced a lot of joy, and that's something that you should also try to figure out and find. Opium soon? Yeah, opium real soon. Feel me? Um, D. Let's go live. What brand do I fuck with right now? Uh, Rick, Alix, Raph. The dynamic duo, trio. Not duo, trio. From me. Is Vizen still going? Vizen is still happening. And it's, um, for me. Hey, D, come on. Request to go live, bro. Or do I got to find you manually? Which I will do. Where you at, man? Yodi, hey. <laughs> Dick owns Rap Semen. Slide through. I'm gonna slide through, bro. I'm just filming. I gotta. I did see the skaters today, though. I saw Miguel and uh, Juice. All that shit. That shit was cool. Would I ever sell my soul? Uh, nah, I think there could have, there's many times I could have did some shit, but I just choose to not because at the end of the day, when I'm gone, I want people to look back on this shit and understand that everything was art and no cornball, corporate money play. You know, I could make $80,000 tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to. I mean, I'm going to make 80 grand off the next Bison drop, but I'm not filming. I can make money every single day of my life, but I'm just you feel me, going with the flow. I'm not about to force nothing or release some bullshit for some money. You know what I'm saying? Even though I could. How much money did you make your first three years? Okay, so 2016, I made $1,000, and then 2017, I made 35000 and then 2018, I made 150000 and then last year, I think I did 270000 But that was all off Vizen. That wasn't um, including, like, miscellaneous checks and stuff like that, so, you know, I probably, this year, damn, how much I make this year, let me really think about it, it definitely isn't like last year, but that's also because I haven't dropped anything on a website this year, everyone doubted me, no, I wouldn't even say everyone doubted me, I would just say, Everyone thought, I don't even think people really put too much thought into me. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, um, I don't think anyone really thought anything of it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do remember telling a bunch of people, like, hey, like, this shit's gonna work out. Like, I'm straight, you know? And people didn't believe me. I remember telling people I wasn't going to college or actually that I dropped out. And people were looking at me like I was smoking crack. And I didn't, wasn't really phased by it because I understand everything, whether it may act like it or seem like it, I understand everything for what it really is. So, all right, here we go, D. Yo, I that knowledge, huh, bro? Man, I got to. I got to. It's the only right, bro. Only yeah, right, man. Hey, let them right. know. Let them know what we was doing in 2017. Man, niggas was putting that work, bro. Shit was real. Shit hey, was real. Shit yeah. was real, bro. Man, I was already in the game. I was already in the game like three years before that. You hear me? And I still had to put in the work. You hear me? Every day. What? No breaks. Even when we chilling, we working. That's right. Right, so that's the type of life we live, bro. Like, even if we ain't putting in leg work, you hear me? Our mental, so so much more ahead that we work and what we think. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all that shit takes, real talk. I ain't gonna stop. Man, what? If I, could, if I could thank you for anything, it would definitely be having a militant mindset. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, like, nigga, I got a lot of shit to thank you for, bro. Like, even being a young boy, nigga, teach. Like, nigga, learned a lot of shit from you, brother. Real tough. But just like, you feel me? You can wake up and not know what you're doing, but if you wake up and start cleaning or just get into that groove, as soon as you wake up of working the right. whole day, it's right. gonna be productive. Right. You and know. That's it. You know, you know that's that militant mind, brother. You hear me? You got to have everything clean so your head could be able to, you know, move around and think and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I be want to get on here and talk to niggas how you be talking to niggas, brother, but you hear me? It's deeper than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I can't even really. I can't get these niggas the real me. You hear me? It's too complicated for them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's just. I don't expect them to understand, but I'm going to try my best to explain it. I got to. I, I can't. That's the other thing, too, is like, damn, bro. We really, I just be thinking about 2017, like, when I first arrived, like, it wasn't about no partying, nothing. It was about putting in that work and making sure I could do this shit for years to come. You know what I'm saying? Not get no opportunity to piss it off over some. Real tough, dude. And the whole point right now is for us to get to where the fuck we need to be so we could go where we won't go. Like, you hear me? Because niggas don't know. Niggas not about to be on this shit forever. Y'all done ruined this internet shit for a nigga already. We did all this shit. We still here. (laughs) Right. We really, still, I ain't even worrying about none of these niggas in the live. I'm really just having a one-on-one with my nigga. Like, you hear me? So, I'm not even reading the comments. About, you hear me? I'm really just hollering at you on some partner shit. I know, bro. When are you finna be back? I fly back tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tuesday? Or tomorrow, Friday? What day it is? <laughs> Tomorrow's Monday, bro. <laughs> Damn, tomorrow, Monday? Yes. What month? May? J- June? May, April. June. <laughs> bro. April. You just said April, now nah, it's June, bro. Oh, shit. Damn. I, I tell you what type of time I'll be, be in my own world, bro. Swear to God. It's really finna be June. Niggas be wearing about hoes. I go to sleep every night with with this by my pillow. And jack off faithfully. Wake <laughs> up happy. Kiss her. Kissing my baby. Glad you here. You hear me? I don't even be worrying about no bitches. Exactly. I don't give a fuck if it was ten dollars. <laughs> long as there ain't no bitch. You hear me? No, that's the wrong pocket. That, I keep that for the homeless. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. 
Your ass gonna fuck around, catch catch staff infections, giving out money to the business. What, bro? I got a a homeless bro. Someone gotta look out, bro. Oh, uh, for sure. You know we been niggas been doing shit like that. I do shit like that. I just don't do it for the camera. Yeah, wow, man. Bro. I, I was walking the other day and um I with you. Where I was at in my hotel and I seen some nigga out there. He looked cold as a motherfucker. I walked a mile all the way to my hotel, walked all the way back just to get a nigga a blanket. Nigga, nigga woke up, looked at me, and said, "What the fuck? Fuck you!" <laughs> and went back to sleep. I ain't even get mad, you hear me? I just let do, you know. I did it just because I wanted to do it. It was me, you, and Luca, and that dude was sleeping on the ground. He, he done tucked a twenty under his pillow. Oh, fact. See, I, you know what I'm saying. I ain't even want y'all to see that. I just wanted to do it so when he wake up, he could feel, you know what I'm mean? saying? Go get his yeah. little track rock, whatever it is he want, make his day better, you hear know I me? Mean? Because I know yeah, I got I my own too. shit I deal with, my own demons and shit I, you know what I, mean? I can't judge them niggas. That's called life. Y'all about to watch me smoke 12 cigarettes back to back on these bitches. Man, what? I went on live the other day and smoked like six back to back, listening to John Moss. Right. Oh well, I've been, I've been, I've been tapped in lately. I ain't gonna lie. Who T yellow bitch? Who? Talking to them. They can say yellow T bitch. That's gold. You dumb fuck. <laughs> well, yeah, I just wanted to hop on here and holler at you. I'm gonna be out there on if not tomorrow, whatever day my flight is, bro. I don't know what day it is, but. I'm going to be out, y'all. I'm going to see you this week. All right. Hear me, bro. Feel me? Because, yeah. When I first came to L.A., D was the first person that I met. And it's funny because, don't hate me, D. I had $100 to my name. I went. I came to L.A. with $100 bill. One. You know. And uh, he was like, yo, bro, buy some weed. I was like, all right. <laughs> and then I had 30. <laughs> Same day that I arrived, <laughs> I had 30 bucks. <laughs> so, yeah, man, if I can come to L.A. with $100 and have it to 30, come on, man. You think you can do it either, man? You can do it. Sits for everyone. Shine through the struggle. Appreciate the struggle. Feel me? Appreciate it because if you don't appreciate it, when you come up, you won't, you won't be able to really, you know? But we're pulling it out 20Ks and 50s. Man, what? My opium pick where I'm holding 30K, I was only... They only let me take out 30K. I was trying to take out 60K cash. What is this for? Uh, a music video. All right. Can I have my money? I have my money. How long have D been out? What? D ain't never been in jail since I found him. Um, more Mew clothes. Uh, I might redrop the Joy Mew tea after they get shipped out, but but opium is for real, and that shit is gonna be amazing. Why did I get a tap on the face? Honestly, I could give you some bullshit answer that I actually really do believe, but. It's more so about uh, there was like a point in my life where I wasn't always as confident as I am right now, you know, or I didn't think I had what it takes. And I remember actually believing that. And um, I believe that for pretty much all of high school, you know, and just to go from that to where I'm at now, 
even two years ago, you know, like I got revenge, not on anybody in particular, but more so my old self for ever thinking that I was anything less than greatness. And so when I look at myself in the mirror, which is very frequently because I think I look good as fuck. Um, it's just like a little for me. And everyone is like, do you regret the tat? I could, I have the money to remove it and get it again and then remove it again and then get it again and then remove it again. But it's been there since I got it. So I, for me, I don't regret getting it. <laughs> My friend Alex Madrano says you are super cornudo. I like how you surpass bro fit and meet in one day. Make it happen. Make it happen. Favorite city is definitely Los Angeles. I was 19 when I got this tat on my face. Did you get the tat in LA before you came to LA? I got the tat in LA. I think, I think the month that I got it, it was just such a good month. I went to China, which was the first place that I ever, you know, I never left the country before until I came to LA and then I went to China and then I was just making money and making great art and proving myself wrong. So I decided to get that. I'm surprised you like it more than New York City. I fuck with New York, but I also, you feel me? How's it working with Cardi? Um, Cardi is a boss, you know? Like, you feel me? Like, just a young boss. He, he ain't never made me feel like I was never gang, bro. You know? He didn't have to do anything, but for me, he'd be coming out. He'd be having me come out there and film him and shit. And, you know, just me actually being uh, a fan, you know, like an OG fan, and just seeing where he started and where he's at now really is just uh, oh, more than inspirational. You know, it's just. That's some shit that I'm finna be on, you know? Not necessarily like I'm gonna be like big like that, which you know who knows, but just like always evolving. I think that's why Cardi is like one of the greatest artists is cause regardless of what people say, like a lot of people just do the same shit. You know, like he literally just evolves. So, young masterminds. That's probably the only question I'm going to answer about that man. So please don't ask me about, yeah. Favorite cigarettes are Camel Crushes, which in high school was the thought cigarette. So pretty much I'm just a 22 year old Mexican who's addicted to thought cigarettes. I don't do crack. I'm also not 2-9 vet. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. 
I'm only 22 years old. You know, I do turn 23 this year. I have been to Europe. I have been to Amsterdam as well. I've also been to Sweden as well. <laughs> My favorite brand is definitely Elise. I fuck with Elise. Right next to Ray. I'm only 18 and I don't even feel like I'm doing anything right. Well, let me tell you, when I was 18, I felt the same shit. As long as you're doing what you want to do, then that's all that. That's all that matters. Favorite shoe? Um, I don't have a favorite shoe. I do wear elites every day, but not more so pieces, just like belt and bracelet. How did I change my life around? Uh, you just pretty much do you, and that's about it. I did find those boots I was looking for, and they're getting overnighted to me tomorrow. I do have an you know, Elite Spray Split. I wear it every day. Shout out to Prince Green. That's like the only person that can potentially, like, I wouldn't even say jealous, but he just too fire, bro. Like. I wouldn't even say that's my twin, because that's a stretch. But like on a creative level, I definitely feel like he is like, I wouldn't even say like, I wouldn't even say we're on the same level, but like there's like a certain mentality of just like, or not, not even the same mentality. You know what? We just both have good taste. He might actually have better taste than me, but Having having good taste goes a long way because you can apply it to almost everything. Music, clothes, art, anything. So shout out to Prince Green AJ. Do I like Raph? Yeah, I fuck with Raph. I actually saw him once. Um, he threw a rave in Paris and I went. And as soon as I get there, I'm, like, walking to the door. And then, like, he just, like, walked out. And it was kind of funny because, like, nobody was, like, following him or, like, talking to him. He just, like, <laughs> walked out the party. I was like, dope. And then Miguel, that R&B dude, walked in. And I was like, so he just shook my hand as if he knew me. <laughs> like, really dapped me up, looked me in the face. Like, you're good? Like, everything. Smiling. I was like. It's like, bro, that ain't. Fuck with Miguel. I don't know any songs by Miguel. But that was just funny to me that this man really walked into the party and just, like, really jacked me up and, like, was like. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the Raph Rave, too. How lonely was the come up? Uh, honestly, the come up wasn't lonely. It's when you get to a certain point, you feel me? People want to, I don't know. I definitely will admit that like being in a position like this is extremely stressful and sometimes it has a big part on my mood and other things and like sometimes it fucks shit up like my only friend right now is an 11 year old 
little homie Anthony, bro. Like, he too far, bro. Like, <laughs> today he just walked in my house <laughs> and started playing Fortnite. Like, didn't even knock. Just opened my door, came in. What's up? Started playing Fortnite. For me, so. Are you AUG or starting your own production company? I have never been AUG or ever done anything for AUG other than promote the hats. And I feel like it's hard to trust people in that industry. It is super hard to trust people in this industry because like when I look at people, I try to look at people's good qualities you know I think everyone has problems whether they're broadcasted or not they have problems sometimes you can see them clear as day sometimes you can't either way everyone's got problems but feel me I would never hold that against somebody but you know in this industry it is extremely hard to trust people because people always have ulterior motives or underlying motives. No one's really just trying to, you know, see you do good. Or not even see you do good. But like, there's always some fuck shit. So, as long as you know that, you know. But, type shit. But either way, like, Phoenix Guerrero, bro. <laughs> For that. And everyone should feel that way too. I don't know everyone's name, but y'all should definitely be like, um, motherfucking yada yada. Lives like these ain't gotta be the same once you're at like 10 million followers. Ain't gonna be the same when you're at 10 million followers. Uh, I really hope so. I really hope that they are still exactly like this. If I have 10 million. That's the other thing too, man. Make sure you're not working to be up and wear nice clothes and flex for the gram. Make sure you're like really doing the shit because that's what makes you happy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I enjoy making videos and broadcasting them on Instagram for everybody to see, you know? That's what makes me happy. I've I done made money and it definitely made me happy for about three minutes when I made it. Making money feels good. Having money still feels pretty good, but it's just not something you wanna you feel me. I wasn't doing shit when I was sixteen. I was running around partying and smoking weed and just trying to have a good time but there's always a point when we need to buckle down and if you really want to be doing this shit make it happen you know what i'm saying like i don't want to collaborate with anybody to be honest You think there's hope for me then? That's more so a question for you, my guy. And in this industry, you can't really hope or wish. You need to know and make it happen. You know, like I can't sit here and be like, I really hope this works out. I have to be like, this is going to work out for me. Like, like I said, I don't want to collaborate with anybody I'm just gonna do me. I have been to Sydney, Australia as well. Drop a whole lot of red. Mm. 
what I'm saying? Does social media ever get overwhelming for you? No. Social media doesn't get overwhelming, but it gets overwhelming when you don't have people to talk to. And sometimes I don't really... Well, actually, no, that's not true. I do broadcast a lot of my problems on my social media because I don't have um, proper people to talk to about those things because no one seems to understand. Hi, Steven. Like I said, I'm not collaborating with anybody. And I didn't. And people will do that. Three thirty-three. You the realist. I'm always here for you, even if you don't know me. I'm going to get out of this live because I've been in here for too long and hopefully y'all um, learn something. Your usernames are sent as fuck. Grow up. 